So what's going on everyone and today I'm going to be showing you something pretty cool in Dark Eyes and Draka. This is going to be exactly what the plunger melee weapon is used for. I uploaded a video around about a week ago showing you exactly how to get it but we weren't too sure on what exactly its use was. We managed to get the upgraded version but we didn't know what it did. But now thanks to a fellow YouTuber called Mr. T Lexify, an absolutely funny, hilarious zombies player, he's actually accidentally found out how to use this upgraded version. Version, and it's actually pretty useful especially when you're playing in co-op games when you're playing on solo not very useful at all but in co-op games it is a really really good piece of kit now if you don't know how to get the plunger you need to acquire yourself the Ragnarok DG4 gravity spikes if you don't know how to do that I'll drop a link down below in the description to show you guys exactly how to get all the free pieces to build yourself the Ragnarok DG4 but once you have managed that you want to make your way over to the bell tower you want to shoot the wall with a bow and it will reveal the kind of inner cogs of the clock. You then place down your Ragnaroks as a trap and that will actually enable you to pull this lever down below which will actually start the hands of the clock to start ticking on the outside and we need to get this to be frozen on 935 exactly. It can't be 934, can't be 936. The classic John quote has to be bang on 935. Now once you've got this on 935 you'll hear a thunder clap and you'll hear this kind of weird pitch noise that just goes like and if you go downstairs to the undercroft section you'll notice above the pyramid there's now a weird glowing orb and when you activate anti-gravity you'll notice that you'll now be able to teleport back in time now you need to kind of wall run across this wall here kind of like keep jumping from the ground up to one of these weird spots and eventually you'll be teleported back in time into the lab area now here this is where you'll be able to pick up the plunger now before you picked it up and you wouldn't really see or notice anything but now Triarch have patched in a new animation which is pretty much the bowie knife but now you have the plunger so if you're in that room you'll actually be invisible so you won't be able to see your actual arms hold the plunger. For all the other players in your game they'll randomly just see the character pull out a plunger and that will replace their normal knife as their melee weapon. Now this doesn't do any additional damage whatsoever, it's literally exact same strength as a normal knife that you get when you spawn in, but we're going to get this upgraded. So if you're the person that de deals the last blow on a panzer, it can be with any weapon, doesn't have to be using the plunger, it can be with a ray gun, any sort of gun that you have on your person. If you're the person to deal the last blow into the panzer, you will have your plunger flamed, and that means it's upgraded. Now you only have this for around about a minute's time, so this is only really useful in the higher rounds of co-op games only where you get more than one panzer spawning in a round and why I mentioned it was only useful in co-op is say on a higher round in the 20s you'll have two panzer spawning if you kill that first one you'll then get yourself the flaming plunger and this is where it comes in really useful as this flaming plunger can insta kill panzers you literally just hit the panzer with your flaming plunger and they will disappear literally within the blink of an eye it's gone super high round runs in co-op this is definitely something you'll want to have you'll probably forget that you have it but it's very very useful especially when there's more than one panzer to take out probably later in the rounds it could be two to three panzers and having this insta killed flame one is very useful and i think once you kill a panzer with a flaming plunger you'll still have yourself the flaming plunger so if there are any other panzers in your game at that point on that round you can use the flaming plunger again to take out that panzer now like i said after a minute it disappears completely and you'll have to either wait until you have a round where there's multiple panzers or you just won't be able to really use the effects of this flaming plunger properly. But on solo, I'm pretty sure unless it gets into the very high rounds where you get more than one panzer, I tried going to round 40 and I could only ever have one panzer spawn in on one round. So I'm assuming this is only really useful in co-op, but definitely try this out. It's a little bit of time spent trying to get the actual plunger itself at first, but once you have it, it's going to be very, very useful later on down the road when there's a lot of panzers to take out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a like rating i really would appreciate it and you can also check out mr t lexify's channel down below in the description he's the original founder who accidentally stumbled across this but a really awesome find nonetheless hope you guys enjoyed watching subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you on another one soon